What's up guys, Knowledge here with Universal Effects and HQ Arts. So today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to pan out your gun and the rest of the map. So the map will be black and your gun will, your gun will show and whatnot. And how to sync that up with your music and make it look good and whatnot. Anyway, so when I originally made this video, um, the sound didn't work for some reason. So now I am watching the video and going to try and kind of commentate what I do. So don't mind uh, some minor mistakes when I'm talking. Anyway, so I think I messed up in the beginning of this video, but you go ahead and open it up, you have your clip and your music, and now those little orange dots, those are uh, sync points in the music, and that's what I'll be using. But uh, yeah, so go ahead and shrink your clip down and wait for it to happen. Okay, so you're going to pick out where you want to start doing it, uh, the uh, pan. You go one keyframe over, so just hit your right arrow key one time. And now click on that clip and go to Save Snapshot to File on your top right. Click that, now save it. And once you save that, that'll go right there. And then what you're going to end up doing is deleting this clip and dragging that one in, but uh, track above it. Now zoom back out and move the original clip out to the sync point part and I'm gonna drag this one in now let me fix this do to do, do okay so now I have I see it freezes that's what you want it to do and then you go straight into it now I'm going to go to event pan and crop I'm gonna go to the bottom left and click mask now I'm gonna click the anchor tool and you're gonna to wanna to zoom in cause you wanna get it right so go ahead and just scroll your mouse up and then position it so you can get it right and go ahead and grab the anchor tool again and what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're just gonna click once and then just keep clicking and outline either just the gun or the arm or whatever you want to uh, for it to show and that'll just be on the first keyframe of where it's frozen from the snapshot file. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And this is really important that you make it perfect. That everything is really nice and smooth and not stuff's just hanging out when you're cropping it. So make sure you do it right. Zooming in. I mean, it's it takes a while. It's long and tedious. But it your end result will look really good, especially when you sync it up and whatnot like that. So right now I'm just clicking, clicking making it good, going around my gun is what you're going to end up doing. Um, this isn't used that often in uh, videos, but when I see it, I get pretty happy. It's a pretty cool thing. You'll see it from uh, a few editors, but not that much. Anyway, so I'm just going around the scope. Now I'm going to go inside of the gun because I don't want this right here in between to show. In between the gun and the side of it. So just keep on going. And then once you get down here to the bottom, what you're going to do is go over to where you first started. So your first click. You're going to see it's a little bit different. Now it has this little tiny circle on it. That means that's where you want to click and that will take everything you just panned, like so. And now you see on my actual thing, the background is black, but the gun is there and it's showing. Now, what you do here is um, you go out a few frames. You, you're going to want to go out to the end. I know I made a mistake here. But what you're going to end up having to do is go all the way out to the end for the most part. And you're going to go ahead and get the anchor deletion tool. I messed up here as well. So go ahead and grab the anchor deletion tool. It's right under the anchor tool. And take that like so that one and just click on uh, click on a point and that'll completely erase it so basically at that at that uh, keyframe right there it's gonna go back to normal so the whole entire map is gonna show so as you can see that happens and then the map shows that, that's what's gonna happen but there I, I did it too early so I'm gonna have to go back and I'm gonna drag this back out my bad so same thing applies you're gonna see it again 
this one will look a little bit better, more smooth. And then the gameplay continues. Now, it, it'll it'll look a lot better and sound better if you sync it up. A lot of people will notice it. It's a cool thing to do is syncing. So, yeah, basically, I will have a actual example of this for you guys, and it's gonna be a so you can actually see what it looks like and see if you guys even want to do it. But I like it, and it's pretty original because not that many people use it. But thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, Knowledge CA, Universal Effects, HQ Arts. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for more tutorials from Universal Effects. Later.